You ever feel stuck? Doesn't it stink to get stuck in traffic? Welcome to this week's devotional. It's frustrating to get stuck if you've ever been stuck in traffic or rider's block or it's no fun. And sometimes we even get stuck in our prayer life. So if you ever feel stuck, today is for you. Let me encourage you. In Jesus' day, uh, there were a lot of bad examples for how to pray, how to talk to God. Uh, and the religious leaders of the day loved to make themselves look good and they would use big flowery words and they would say, I'm so glad I'm not like those people. And they tried to impress people with their prayers and it was just dead religion. Jesus' disciples watched him pray and it was different. And they said, Jesus, will you teach us how to pray? And this is what he says in Matthew 6. He says, when you pray, do not keep babbling like the pagans. They think they'll be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them for your father knows what you need before you ask him. Then this is how you should pray. And he starts out and he says, Abba, Father who art in heaven. Very first word out of his mouth is a word used to by son to call him his dad. Abba means father. Uh, sometimes it can even mean dad or daddy. Uh, and that would have been shocking to Jesus' disciples because God was so holy. He wouldn't even want to say his name, and yet here's Jesus calling him Dad. And in the Bible it says, How great is God's love that he lavishes it on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. So I would say if you feel stuck in your prayer life, Stop trying to find the right words or impress God or even others. Start by remembering that your father loves you like a child. When I pray, sometimes sometimes I'll even pray, Dad, Daddy, uh, and I'll just pour out my heart like I'm talking to uh, the greatest father in the world, which he is. So today when you pray, talk to your dad, your creator, your father who loves you unconditionally. He loves to hear from you. Pray to him as Jesus prayed, Father who art in heaven, you're so great. Hope this encourages you. Hope this helps you maybe get unstuck in your prayer life. Go and talk to your dad. He's waiting for you.